Architecture is about creating places. And what's special about this project is that it's a real true connection of house and garden. Gareth and Richard's brief was really unique. I remember one of them said something quite clearly right at the start. We don't want to look out of our new windows and see a patio. We want that to be far away from the house. They wanted to see planting. They didn't want to be looking at paving. They wanted the kitchen to be flooded with light. They wanted this space to be feeling very much connected to the outside. And this is why on this project, as much time went working on the garden, as much uh, we spent working on the interior. We wanted this, this open plan space. We wanted the flow through around the house. We wanted a much larger kitchen because we spent a lot of time there. We wanted to be able to experience the garden. We, we felt very cut off from the garden previously because, because we just had windows and you had to sort of go through a configuration of rooms to get out into the garden. Whereas we wanted the garden to be right there all the time in the house, part of the house really. We wanted to be quite simple about the materials that we used. Exposed brick, wood, concrete. And it's a very interesting idea from a completely architecture point of view to be able to show everything, not to try to hide, not to try to uh, mimic or, or disguise stuff. To, to be able to just, okay, we're building with bricks, let's show the bricks, let's, let's um, open up that space and let's, let's just show the materials the way they are. One of the first moves was to push that kitchen out and into the lighter part of the house and, and right into the garden. Because of pulling out the kitchen, you get these cross spaces as well. So when you're in the kitchen, you look across the garden, then you look out to it. It's almost like the house is kind of hugging around the garden. In that sort of darker part of the house, we put practical things. So downstairs toilet, cloaks, utility. And we put all of those in this, this box and decided to clad that in plywood. With the, the, the then the, the lounge and the dining space, we also pushed that out and extended that out. So we had this whole new L-shape extension wrapping around the, one of the main features of the garden, the pond, and wrapping around this big sort of planter bed with, with all, the, all the big grasses and ferns and things. What it results in is just this really nice sequence of spaces that all feel different. And that's a result of the layout of the house and the sequence of spaces and the flow, but it's also a result of the layout of the garden and the sequence of spaces and the flow of the garden. I think that's the secret to what makes this house work so well. The way we work with materials, the way we, we always try to bring as much daylight possible into every living space, I think that's like the, the special Bradley Van der Straten touch. We have a, a particular sculpture by Gareth's father, which is on our mantelpiece, and it's a very particular blue, and we knew the exact um, Raal colour for that blue, so we match the beams to that. The pink of the kitchen is also almost the opposite on a colour wheel of this blue. By completely shifting how the kitchen works, how the orientation of the living room and the dining room, turning everything towards the garden. It means that we are much more connected to the seasons. Now it doesn't really matter what the weather is, you can see the garden, you can see things happening in the garden. This is, this is home.